Hi folks, welcome back for more Let's Play Back to the Future the Game, Episode 3. The story so far. Marty has finally found Citizen Brown locked behind the gates in the fortress-like courthouse. Problem is, he can't get in without an appointment or some other clever means. Marty also ran into Biff, now eerily passive and polite due to the Citizen Plus program he's enrolled in. Biff described how he short-tracked his meeting with Citizen Brown. He broke rules, and lots of them. With ideas brewing, Marty spotted teen rebel Jennifer slinking into a nearby valley. Alley. Well. So, we want to meet Brown. And we can either wait for an appointment, for who knows how long that'll take, or we can break a whole lot of rules very, very quickly. But first, more tours. First Citizen Brown, the mind head of Hill Valley, a man of infinite wisdom and awe-inspiring imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, but hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single-handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving Kid Tannen and his bootlegging syndicate. Single-handedly? After this heroic event immortalized by the grand statue on the courthouse lawn, First Citizen Brown devoted his life to civil and social engineering, using Hill Valley as a prototype for tomorrow's cities today. And this is going to spread to other cities, huh? That's unnerving. What's the problem, Citizen? Oops, wrong number. Well, let's take a look at the statue. Having fun, kid? Yeah. Who said that? Attempting to destroy public landmarks is a violation of C-64. I wasn't trying to destroy it. Take your demerit. Well. Huh. <laughs> nice little defiant look there. Oh, another tour. Oh, wait, citizen. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. God, that's scary. I'm all for recycling, but this is out of control. No kidding. Yee. Orwellian nightmare to, well, an extreme. I already looked at that tour, didn't I? Or no, I looked at the one over there. I don't think I looked at this tour, did I? The original clock tower was dedicated in 1885, with the motion first started at 8 p.m. on September 5th that same year. The clock tower was once struck by a bolt of lightning on November 12th, 1955, damaging the clock motion beyond conventional repair. During the downtown renovation project of 1976, the damaged Wait. clock was dismantled and a new modern clock was installed as the window to the mayoral office. Look up! You just might catch a silhouette pacing behind the glass. That's First Citizen Brown, pondering how to make your future better. Okay. This is... Why would there be a statue of Einstein up there? Two of them, if, you know, dogs are outlawed. Weird. Hmm. Well, with that little bit of exploration out of the way... Ooh, another tour. Or did I look at this Look one? around yourself. 
breathe in the fresh air, enjoy the immaculate scenery and architecture. You are standing among the denizens of the most sociologically advanced city in the world. Hill Valley, a perfect place to live. Let's take a moment to look up at the city's centerpiece, the courthouse, with its ornate clock tower. Look closely. Do you see a silhouette behind the clock? That's our beloved first citizen, Emmett L. Brown, toiling away on new ideas to make Hill Valley the city of tomorrow, today. They sure seem to love that little man with the arms outstretched there as their symbol. Okay, well, let's go see what's over here. Bureau of Discipline. That just makes me think about high school. Oh, I wouldn't blame you there. Cameras everywhere. Sheesh. Remember to keep your name badge on at all times. Not only does it make every citizen seem like your neighbor and friend, it grants you passage at the three main city access points. Hill Valley is the country's first fully incorporated gated city. In 1966, Hill Valley petitioned for a special regional exemption from state legislation. Using a tax and property law loophole, the city of Hill Valley managed to consolidate itself into a gated community with special allowances for business and residential zoning. To date, we are the safest and most self-sustaining city in the United States. But at what price? What price freedom? Look at that sign. No, I can't look at the sign. Hey, can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchle. Now eat it, bay, and let me catch some Z's. Okay. Free soy dog samples. Take one. Hmm, I guess they ran out. Soy dogs? Ugh. Okay. Loading. Okay, well, she's got her headset on, so she's not going to notice us. Door, huh? That leads to the soup, Mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. Huh. A blocked doorway, huh? They bricked up the entrance to the old speakeasy. Huh. Anything else around here? Soy mud. Something tells me that's in stark contrast to all the fresh that I keep seeing on places. Junk? That junk looks awfully familiar. Fifty years familiar. It does kind of look like the stuff that they pulled out of the speakeasy, doesn't it? Plank. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Huh. Okay. Graffiti? Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Only well, smooth jazz isn't that bad. Although I don't think she was supposed to hear us. Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. Didn't even notice us try to get into her paint. Okay. Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. 
Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kind of like you like this. Oh, uh, Barf? <laughs> you act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. Are you going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. Yeah, I do like her. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. <laughs> oh, lighten up. Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Yes. Oh, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoritest legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! <laughs> this law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not and say we did. Darn it. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two demerit offense. Go fig. Hmm. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. <laughs> Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. So, Jennifer. Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. Ooh. Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. <laughs> Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. Well, technically. My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. I would too. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted, which is why I'm going to stay clear of it. Good plan. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm going to go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. <laughs> Couldn't hurt to ask. <laughs> okay. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Okay, with that taken care of, I believe it's time to call it a video. Next time, well, we investigate some more and see who else we can find. So we're not running into any help from anybody out here. Okay, take care folks. See you later.